Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We have such a packed and beautiful show tonight. The call log is full. The chat is already going on. I love, love, love this. For those of us in America celebrating the 4th, happy 4th of July. Um, I want to get going right away this evening because there are so many callers um, in the call log. If you would like to join us live, you can zoom over to YouTube and watch the show live and post any questions you may have in the chat. Or you can call in 845-277-9131. If you are calling in or asking a question in the chat, please have a somewhat of an exact question about life, love, career, finances. If you'd like to connect with a loved one from up above, I just need your loved one's first name and their relationship to you and any question that you may have for your loved one. Um, I know I say this on every show and then every time I say it, somebody just does it. Either they're you know not really paying attention or whatever, but uh, please have an exact question. Give me a message from spirit is not an exact question. And it takes a little bit longer to do that. It's not that I cannot do that. It's It just takes more energy and it takes more time. And there are other people waiting. And I just, sometimes I think the next person who does that, I'm just going to hang up on them. But I won't. I won't. I just think that. <laughs> Just have an exact question about life, love, career, finances, or a loved one's name and relationship to you, and we will get going. One last, oh, no, wait, this is so important. Okay, you guys, um, do not get scammed. I will never reach out to you and tell you to get a reading or you have whatever. The only way to reach me is on my website, T O N I G dot I N F O. And if you, um, if, you, if you're interested, I started two new programs. They are going to be so amazing. The first program is called um, Healing Myself, and it's a journey through guided meditation or hypnosis, six hypnosis sessions or six um, guided meditations, hypnosis, where uh, we do one a week is self-esteem, self-respect, self-worth, self-love, self-acceptance. There's one more self I can't remember and I apologize for that. If you cannot join the live, don't worry. The link will let you replay it at your convenience. This is online and guess what you guys, I found a way where I can do each session for only $25 a piece. So you're getting a full hypnosis or guided meditation, whatever you're most comfortable calling it, to heal your self-esteem, self-worth, self, yourself, the self, the six, six selves. Um, and you can go to my website. You can uh, pay for them one at a time or pay for all six altogether. And the other program that's running on Mondays. And again, if you can't join at the time of the live, you'll have the... Um, what it, whatever it's called, to um, link, the link to listen to it later. The beautiful thing about this too is that um, if, if you, you know, number one, you're gonna be in your home, you're gonna be comfortable, you can listen to it as you fall asleep, you can listen to it when you have your free time if you can't listen or don't want to listen to it live with everybody else. The second program is uh, Weight and Body, so if you uh, are wanting to um, let go of weight or reconfigure your body, uh, that program is amazing, same price. And I'm really, really just very happy. I finally figured out a way to bring these programs in such an affordable way for everybody. And again, the weight program and the healing yourself program are both, um, hypnosis or, or guided meditation programs, whichever way you're most comfortable saying it. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to take callers and I'm going to alternate callers 
with questions online. I do this for an hour, twice a week, Monday at noon, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Sometimes I do a pop-up show, um, but this does air on TV. So let's be mindful of that while we're doing everything. I am going to start with um, 551. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Jennifer from New Jersey. Hey, Jennifer, how can I help um, you today? I was, I had a friend pass a couple days ago. His name was Philip. We went, you know, went as Phil. I want to know if he has any messages or anything. Can you connect with him? Yeah, the first thing I'm hearing, Jennifer, it's really, um, it, it'll make sense as the message goes on. The first thing I'm hearing is, I'm all out of love. You know that song, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost yeah, without yeah. you. So that's the first thing that's coming through. In some way, that might be a confirmation that you like that song, he likes that song. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The next thing that I'm hearing is that he's singing that, um, I want to call it the Chubby Checker song, like the, I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. So he's saying basically he's okay. Or okay. he just, again, okay. he could have really just loved that song also. <laughs> but the fact that I'm getting such good, clear messages from him tells me he's good. He's in a good place. He says, he says, he, he like puts his hand to his mouth like he's yelling down. He goes, hey, looks like I made it. <laughs> and he's, He's funny. He's a oh, funny gee, man. That sounds like him. Yeah. All right. Because I was wondering so, if he was like, I feel like I was trying to be there for him, and I feel like maybe at the end I wasn't there as much as I should have been, and oh, I didn't want him to be mad at me. No, no. no he says he's acknowledging right away. He was as, sick for a really long time, and his family kind of like he just got divorced. His kids weren't there. Like he was kind of alone at the end. You know? Yeah. He's. I tried to be there as much as I could. So I feel bad that I got the news he died. So you know, and he was what? only 50-something. Yeah, and I completely understand. And what I'm going to say, um, he he's acknowledging you couldn't be there. You, he knows that, okay. you know, he had no expectation of anybody coming in and, like, saving him or being there. He understands everybody has their life. And the one thing he is saying is... Um, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not really looking at a lot of this. I'm just getting messages for you. But everything got caught up. Everything got caught up. And one thing uh, um, one thing led to another. So those are the messages he's giving you. I And he says, please let them know I'm okay. Please let them know I'm home. Please let them know I'm okay. And he's, he's like using his right hand and he's pointing up and he says, I'm with Nana. I'm with Nana. So that should mean something to his family or to whomever. And that is the message he has okay. for you, Jennifer. I hope that's helpful. Okay. Thank you. You bye are bye-bye. Bye-bye. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to the first question on the chat and the first question on the chat. Well, it's not the first question. It's where we are in the questions because 15 minutes or so before the show, I'm answering questions. Erin um, wants to know, should I travel nurse or stay home and open my own business? Ooh. Mm, that is a tough one for me because I'm always about people opening their own business, but I'm not, this isn't up to me. I'm going to ask, um, should she travel? Should she? Yeah. You know what, Erin, I'm getting, go for it. Open your own space. Um, do it the way you want to do it. Put together what you want. And I feel like I feel like you're not going to travel right now. I feel like you're going to open your own space and you're going to, I just hear the words integrating. You're going to be integrating a lot with this. You're going to be integrating quite a bit. 
okay? So whether that means um, east and west or natural and this, whatever that means, I feel like, it, and it's not going to be all at once, it's going to grow. And I feel like even if it's your business, there will be other types of practitioners there. So please embrace that and take that. And, and for, for the love of all that's good, enjoy it, Erin. I hope that's helpful. Um, and here's the other thing I'm getting. If you, if you want to open your own, go for it. Do that. That's coming through the strongest that you should open your own. But what else is coming through is that if you, if you can travel like and do it one or two days a week when your, your business isn't operating, that would be okay too. So you get a little bit of both, but I feel like you're yeah, I feel like as of right now, you're not going to travel. So that I hope that's helpful. Erin, thank you so much for the question. I am so grateful for it. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 480. 480, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, this is Mike. I am in South Dakota. Hey, Mike. How can I help you today? Um. So I moved up here, uh, I do the RV thing, but I uh, was moved up here to work for a buddy's company and they're not quite as organized as uh, I need it to be. And again, it, it, it's a slow process for what we do and we've got to be quick because it's sales. And so I, I was looking to go back to the company that I left that I was only there for a short time um, so I can do, get back to traveling and things like that. Do you see that happening? Um, honestly, I feel like they might not be as receptive as you would like them to be. If you do go back, I feel like you, it will be a very short period of time. There's a lot of glitches if you go back, but I do feel like there's something new coming in and it's coming in within this month of July. That will be a really good, like a, a door opening and you'll be able to walk through it. I think that if you call your old company, and that is the best way to do it, to call your old boss and see how his he sounds on the phone, you'll be able to tell if he's a little hot or cold. I feel like, but again, I'm going to say this, if you go back, it'll be very short lived. It will not yep. last either well, because of you or them. It doesn't matter. And when I, yeah, when I took that job, it was kind of that, you know, like when you're uh, when you haven't dated in a while and uh, all of a sudden you start dating somebody and then everybody comes out of the woodwork. I kind of took that job to get another job, if that makes sense. It does. It does. And I feel yeah. like they might not be as receptive. So just, okay. I would say, keep looking. I feel like something is going to open up for you within this month, within the month of July. You should have another offer on the table i do feel like you need to look it's it's not going to find you you have to find it okay got it got it thanks so much and and um if somebody does call up and say i just like uh, uh what what messages from spirit do you have uh i would just hang up <laughs> thank you i used to do readings years ago and i would uh, uh, yeah just hang up thank you <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Thank you so much, Mike. <laughs> so if you needed confirmation, there it is. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. That's that's hilarious. Thank you. I um yeah, I don't have the heart to do that, but I I you know, I sometimes I because I try to but I realize sometimes people click on after I've said that. So yes, please have an exact question about life, love, career and or a loved one on the other side you want to connect with one question per person i'm happy to do it for you okay we're gonna go to elizabeth should i date the guy that my friend wants to set me up with or keep it date you know what go out once just go out once and see what you think about it listen our I, i'm gonna say this to you our our friends can sometimes Sometimes our friends can see things we can't see, okay? And um, I think if you 
just at least give this a shot. It'll open some things up for you, okay? Um, even, you know, it's, I, I'm gonna say it like this, it's just a date. There's not going to be a ring and a big ceremony attached to the date, okay? I'm not saying that that he's not the one or this person is not the one. What I'm saying is go meet the person. Don't shoot it down before you have the opportunity. At least you know he's not a scammer, a catfisher, a predator. <laughs> um, I think you should give it the opportunity definitely go meet up have fun and see what if or what can develop from it now i know a lot of times we want to know the person that we are going to go out with who are they going to be you know the ever after person are they going to be the person that you know we spend the rest of our life with um because sometimes we get to the point where we feel like I don't even want to waste my time if it's not. But sometimes you can meet this person and have a really good friend too. Um, I've dated people and they've they've just turned into some of my best friends. And it's it's good to have them as friends, uh, even if it didn't go any any further than you know, you know, on the in on the dating level, so to say. So definitely go have fun, enjoy the date, um, and just see what, what comes of it, okay, love? I think that you should definitely go. And no, don't feel obligated to have a forced future or to be a, sort. just go show up as yourself and, allow it. I'm sure that this person already knows a little bit about you and you already know a little bit about this person, which can sometimes make it a little bit easier in the dating world, if you will. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 610. 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, 610, we're going to put you on hold. If you come back, that's great. I'm going to go to 111. What's your name and where are you calling from? Sweet green. Hi, ma'am. My name is I'm a team from Colorado. And uh, my question, ma'am, is to beautiful Tony Green, is that um, I was going to this public library um, and um, I'm going to send some older person need help and took it wrong. Um, anyway, should I still disregard that? Because I know I did right. Uh, but I, 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 right where, where they can go stay cool for the summer. Anyway, the question is that do I think, do I still continue going to that to that particular library for 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 now? Um, that that the like the, the, that the, I have nothing bad towards me because. He said he said he said a lie, but I've been going there for five years. Um, anything on that? I'm a little besides. Okay, so love, what I'm getting is um, it's okay if you continue to go to that public library. Just you know, keep keep a bit by yourself. Don't go around that. But I feel like it will be okay if you go there. If you find someplace else to go also, it might be okay. You can alternate places for yourself so that it's a little better. Okay, love? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I feel better. Thank you, Miss Holly. You are so welcome. You have an amazing day, love. You have an amazing day. And um, in the chat earlier, there was a question if I could do a clearing for heaviness and such for people. So everybody listening, watching, we're gonna do a clearing now to release, remove, clear all that needs to be cleared from us. And um, yeah, we're gonna pull all of that now. You guys, I did two. Um, I did a, a, a healing on TikTok yesterday, which I, I love. And then today I did one that is, I did two of them actually that I 
adore, I adore. It's um, Breaking Vows of Poverty is the first one. It got its own little TikTok, its own little 60 seconds of fame. And then the second one is Breaking Vows. And uh, the Vows of Poverty, Vows or Oaths of Poverty, came for, was for not only anything you said in this life, but any past life, ancestral, generational, all of it. And then the second one was just any vow or oath that no longer serves us. So sometimes, and I'm going to explain this, whether you believe in past lives or not, um, some, even in this life, if you say, I will never ever dot, 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 get married or I would never ever have money like that or I would never ever you know what whatever it is um that can be considered a contract that you just made with yourself or a vow or promise you made to yourself and then sometimes even in past lives when um somebody passes and we make a vow to never love anybody else or to wait for them or to you know, whatever it is. Um, and then we end up here going, what's going on with my life? So both of those uh, healings are on TikTok and I put them on other social me media. But one thing I know is every single healing I've ever done is on my TikTok page. And when I do upload them to other places, sometimes after a certain amount of time, they get taken down or you don't see them. Um, for whatever reason. So just the best place to get all of them, and there are a lot of them, is TikTok, but they're also on YouTube Shorts. Not all of them because not all of them upload. They just, there's a malfunction there. Um, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. So if you guys feel like those would help you, which one did I do yesterday? Yesterday's was pretty phenomenal too. It was pretty good. And tomorrow I think I'm going to um do if if you're a person who takes things personally ah, i don't know if i'm going to do that any suggestions of what one i should do tomorrow but we're going to keep clearing healing the heaviness and and any any uh, just being clear we're going to keep clearing to being clear okay you guys i'm going to go to el rosa el rosa z uh I'm so thankful for you. Oh, thank you. I'm so th I'm th I'm really thankful for you and for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. It's it's such an amazing, beautiful journey when we all meet and come together for healing and you know moving forward in the right direction. Right? It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I need to know that that you know what as soon as I read that I I heard the song I need to know I need to know I need to know I need to know <laughs> okay I'm sorry <laughs> okay um if the man that I have been dating is the final one um I the first thing I hear Rosa is that's up to you um your name is Alicia Alicia I hope I'm pronouncing that per correctly um, I'm sorry if I am not. Um, that I, the first thing I hear is that's up to you. You can make the decision. It's it's going to be up to you if you stay with this person and how long. I feel like this person, whether he plays shenanigans or is a good guy, a bad guy, I feel like he's gonna stay. Um, he's he, he'll he'll be there. I feel like you'll be the person that makes the choice of if it continues or not. Um, but again, I, oh, I always say this, I do, I say it all the time, any relationship can work depending on how much we're willing to put up with or deal with, or if it's a healthy relationship, then don't worry about that. But um, it's up to you um, and what, what, where you with it. Okay, Alicia, 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 I hope I, I'm saying that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Please don't take it personally if I'm not. Okay, again, if you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Or if you're joining us live on YouTube, what you can do, put a question in the chat and I will be happy to answer that question. I'm gonna try 610 again, 610. Are you there? Hello? Hi there, what's your name and where are you calling? I'm here. 
What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Sonia. Sonia, how can I help? I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. How can I help you today? Yeah, um, I'm having an open house this Sunday. And um, basically, the house has been um, coming soon for 21 days. So I looked in Zillow and my realtor told me we've had about 1,700 views. Um, so how do you see that going? Um, is there going to be a lot of traffic on Sunday, people coming to see the house? Uh, will there be an acceptable offer or, or is the house still going to be in the market until, you know, somebody comes in with a, with a good price? Okay. Here's what I'm, I'm going to say that what you want to know is, is your house going to sell? Um, that's, that's the bottom line. Okay. So what I'm going to say is this, um, I'm just going to ask a couple of questions in a little bit of a different way than you did, because when we have our house listed, all we want to know is, is it going to sell and when? Okay. Um, so when I ask, uh, is your property going to sell? Yes. I get a yes immediately. Now I'm going to do, is it going to sell in August? They're going to get an offer in August, an offer in July. Will they accept the offer? Uh, will they get more than one? You're going to get more than one offer. Um, I don't know that you're going to absolutely love either of the offers. I do feel like you're going to negotiate one of the offers. I don't know that you're going to take the offer that you receive. I do feel like in August you're going to get um, three, maybe four there's a up to up to four offers now all of them are not guaranteed love all of them are not guaranteed now what i will say to you i'm you know what there's is there something yeah i'm gonna clear something for your house there's something there's almost like something like i'm gonna tell you what i'm seeing now this is not an actual physical thing this is a spiritual thing that i'm seeing and I'm asking that it can be cleared away. It's almost like something is, there's like these iron, iron gate or something iron around your home. And it's, it's almost like a protection, but it's what's, it's, it's interfering with the sale now the protection is not the protection of you and your family it's a protection of something else okay so if this is removed all heck is not going to break loose right it's not going to break loose at all what this is doing is stopping it's interfering with the sale so we're going to remove anything we're going to heal clear remove anything stopping or blocking the sale of your home and you know i'm gonna throw in anybody selling their home that needs to or wants to sell their home let's heal clear release remove disintegrate anything and everything stopping or blocking the sale of the home and you know i actually feel so much pressure in my temples like something is pushing in on them so we're gonna take all of that and that can just be don't let's not jump to wild little wild butt conclusions we're gonna say that could just be the pressure of oh my gosh we need to do this you know whatever it is we're just gonna clear heal release it it's just such an overwhelming feeling um so we're gonna heal clear release that also now, I do feel like you are going to get some offers in August. One of the offers is going to be viable. One of the offers is going to be acceptable to you. Hold out for that offer. Well, I had a house and I was trying to sell it and all the realtor knew how to do was lower the price of the house. And the realtor didn't like me too much because I just kept saying no. <laughs> <laughs> like to them, like taking 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 off the bottom line as time goes on is not a big deal to them. I was like, no, no. I said, listen, if somebody doesn't want to buy it for this price, I don't need to sell it just that way. Um, right. So don't, I feel like somebody is going to come in with an acceptable offer for you. That offer is coming in 
end of July, August. It's definitely coming in in August. Is it going to be somebody from the open house or another person coming to see the house? Um, it, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. If you're having an open house this weekend and the offer is coming in in August, let's be a little that's that's a pretty big distance in between and it really here's wow. what i'm going to tell you it doesn't matter where the person is coming from right it really doesn't matter if it's the open house i personally wouldn't have an open house i wouldn't i i don't i know realtors don't come at me and i apologize anybody who's truly interested in your house should get a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough and be able to answer the questions and do it that way. When you allow energies in your house like that, I, I, that's just my personal thing. I know when people really want to sell the house, the realtors push the open house. Realtors push an open house so they can get all those names and numbers and emails to add to their list. Nine times out of 10, when you have an open house, your house, your buyer doesn't come from that. Now, if there's a realtor who wants to argue with me, you can buy a session and argue with me. I'm not gonna argue with you for free. I know I have a lot of friends that are realtors. Before you argue with me, no, I have a lot of friends and clients that are realtors. So if you have an open house, that's great. If you're comfortable with that, do it. You know, cl cleanse your house afterwards. You know, just ask the angels to run through the house and clear out the energy. 99% of the time, an offer doesn't come from an open house. It comes from somebody who's done a one-on-one. -on -one. Given the fact that this offer is coming in in August, I feel like it's somebody who sees your house after the open house. I feel like they see your house for the first time in August. So I hope that helps you. And uh, don't stress about, about, about it be very relaxed and comfortable with the whole process of it okay be very comfortable and relaxed with the whole process of it love okay Erin you are so 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 welcome so welcome Erin says thank you um I I answered Erin's question earlier and she said thank you that makes sense because I've been thinking I should open a business and once it's uh running smoothly I can travel for fun. Absolutely. And Erin, remember, you're going to integrate. I feel like you're going to have other people there that are going to, you're going to do your thing, they're going to do your thing, but you're don't bring in somebody who does the exact same thing as you. I always say, if if you have a business and you're a, let's just say a, um, a, a massage therapist, unless you have such an overflow of of massage clients, the next thing you want to bring in is maybe um, I'm I'm just making things up here, an acupuncturist or a uh, um, chiropractor or someone who can complement your work, but you can all work together and you can uh, send people back and forth between you. So when you bring somebody in, keep that in mind. I feel like whomever you bring in, you're going to integrate a number of modalities together. Each of you are going to do your own thing and you're just, you're going to love it. Uh, Elizabeth, do I see? Uh, um, Elizabeth, I'm going to come back to that later on. Um, the next question, blessed one, Tony, I feel a little light. Okay. So uh, blessed one asked me to do the healing. Okay, the clearing is still going on, blessed one. So please uh, know that. I'm gonna go to the next caller, 475. Uh, 475, four, what's your name and where are you calling from? Sean, I'm calling from Connecticut. How can I help you, Sean? Hi, um, I had met someone recently and um, I was wondering if this is the right person for me. And her name is Elisa. Uh, it's spelled as Alyssa, but she pronounced it as Elisa. And okay. she sounds very, very interesting and very, very special to me. Okay. Well, they say guys know right away, so I guess we're 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 hearing that. Um, 
Sean, I'm going to, rather than say yes or no on this, I'm going to tell you what you, what I'm hearing for you. And the first thing I'm hearing is um, don't rush things, but take your time a little bit and allow things to flow naturally. Um, instead, don't try to do two, three, four times a week. Start off with once or twice a week and then slowly build. Um and be serious about it, which I'm sure you will be and you understand that. But and Sean, please don't be offended by this next statement. Don't be too intense. I hear I'm hearing sometimes um, you can have just a, an intensity is not necessarily a bad thing. OK, and I know people on the East Coast have a very different intensity than let's just say people from Arizona. It's just a different energy. But be a little bit relaxed around her um, and everything should progress smoothly. If you get a little bit, um, and again, they're using the word intense, and so please don't be offended by that word or take offense to that word. It might uh, make her back off a little bit. So be, you know, easy breezy, go go with the flow a little bit. It's okay to plan the date and say the date, but don't be, I don't want to say overwhelming. They just keep using the word intense. I'm sure you know what they mean by that. Just, you know, go with, go with that. I hope that makes sense to you, Sean. Yes, I get what you mean. But just, it, it go easy and not try too hard. Yeah, or be, yeah, you know, yes, yes, let's just say it that way. Um, or push too fast, too far, just, you know, kind of allow it to unfold the way it should, okay? Yes, because funny thing is, her birthday was Saturday, didn't realize it, but I brought her a card anyway, just as a kind gesture, and she was very touched by it. Oh, that's so sweet. That is very kind of you. That's very kind and appropriate too. Very appropriate to do a card when you're first meeting someone. Yeah, I feel like, you know, make try to make plans once a week to begin with and and just go with the flow, okay? Yeah, probably is I know she works a lot of hours in New York and it's hard for her, but I'm gonna try and work it out slowly. I'm not gonna push her too hard. As you said, I'm not gonna do it anyways. But I just want to make sure that I do it right, but she's a very special woman. And, you know, she's a little younger than me. She has a great energy about her. And she has this beautiful accent from New Zealand. It's, it's so captivating when she speaks. See, women, to all of my women listening, I'm going to tell you, for all of those women who are saying, well, I don't know where we stand. I don't know how he feels. A man, and I say this to women all the time, a man knows, he knows right away how far he wants to go with you or what pile he's putting you in. And this is just proof positive right here. A man knows from the jump, he's either excited by you and wants a future with you, or he's gonna play with you like a cat and mouse game. So let this be women, listen to this understand this and just please pay attention to this um sean thank you so much yes just take your time be respectful treat her uh very um respectfully and just allow it to go in a in a nice flowy manner and everything should be okay okay thank you so much you are so so welcome and to my women to all my beautiful beautiful women did you hear that and i listen to a lot of um podcasts about where men are literally saying you know we know in the first or second date we know the first or second time meeting you if we're going to marry you or if we would want to marry you we know right it's true so if you're this deep in and they're like oh can't we just go with the flow the flow is let me play with you until somebody else comes along and i know that sounds so harsh and it hurts a little bit 
But trust me, if a man is serious about you, you're going to know. He's going to feel the way you do a little bit. You're going to know when a man's serious about you. You just you just are. Okay, I'm going to go to the next um uh I'm going to go to the next question online. I think this is a question. Hi, Tony. Hope you're doing well. You are well. I am. Thank you. I hope you are too, Stephanie. Um, may I ask when you see love coming into my life? Okay, Stephanie S. You know, Stephanie, I feel like you may be able to meet somebody this month you may have somebody coming in in july i know that shocked me too but you know what this is in this part of the world if you're in this part of the world and you're celebrating summer everybody's out and about and doing things and having fun and more open and happier right now um, so be one of those people that are out and about. However, Stephanie, I am going to tell you this and don't, don't think this is the only way you can meet this person, but I am hearing there's a potential to meet somebody in a grocery store on the fly. Like if you're just running in or they're just running in and you're just like, you forgot something or you're, uh, you're picking up something on your way to something else and you might be running you know short on time um you might be even picking up like a bottle of wine or a case of beer i don't know what kind of alcohol i just see i see beverages it could be soda it could be apple juice i don't know what you're picking up it's in a beverage aisle though stephanie i see you in a beverage aisle <laughs> If this happens or when this happens, you call me. <laughs> you you call me and you say, I was picking up a bottle of Chablis. And this guy said, no, no, not that one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now I'm just writing Hallmark movies. <laughs> Jesus. Stephanie, I'm serious though. I am being serious and I feel myself turning super red. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, my oh my goodness. Okay, Stephanie, I feel like I all of that could be true. I feel like all of that has a very strong potential to happen. I I do see you now. You don't know what to believe because I'm such a, 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 a just you know me laughing at this. Um, Stephanie, I do see you. Um, there's the potential. This isn't the only way it could happen, but I do feel like you could be in a grocery store and um, literally, I'm not even joking, literally in a beverage aisle, like a, an adult beverage aisle. Not, But I feel like you're just grab, like it's a grab and go. You need to grab something and go. And I feel like you might meet somebody in that moment. So please um, pay it, you know, don't, don't be in such a hurry, you blow that off, okay? But if you don't meet them that way, liter literally meet them that way, and if it's not in a grocery store, it's in a regular alcohol store or liquor store, whatever they call it, um, it's okay. I do feel like you, but you are, again, in a hurry. You're like really rushed because I feel like you might be running a little bit behind. Anyway, Stephanie, I feel like July, It, I, I know I went off a, a little bit on that, but I feel like there's a huge potential to meet somebody in July um, and that this person is going to be someone that uh, has the potential to last for a bit of time in your life. Okay, Stephanie, I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna go to the next caller who is um, 929. 929, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, uh, Tony, it's Teresa, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How can I help you tonight, love? 
Yes. Okay. I have a question for you. I'm going to do a validation next week. I'm just waiting for something to come through. But I have a question for you. So um, I need your help. I'm picking up the energy because, you know, I do help kiddo work on the side to make some extra money. So I'm picking up a, uh, a healthcare company. I know it's on Long Island. But I'm not sure if it's in the Suffolk County area or the Nassau County area. I can see it clear, but it's like, I just don't know because of the energy. I just don't know where, you know, like if it's Nassau or Suffolk. I feel like it has the potential to be closer to Nassau or in Nassau than the other area. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are right, right, thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Melissa. Let's see what Melissa has to say. You were right. I'm going to move. Thank you so much. Uh, you are so, so welcome. Um, I'm happy I was right. I'm happy it's working out for you. And I uh, have a wonderful, wonderful move. Have a wonderful, wonderful move. I'm gonna go to the next caller who is 561, 561, what's your name and where are you calling from? Well? Hello? Could you hear me? I can. Yes, could you hear me? Yes. Could you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, my happy, ha happy 4th of July tomorrow. And oh. I just wanna know, cause it's like New Year's, July 4th, I was going to see if you see my social life picking up anytime soon. Me meeting anybody. Okay, so you want to know, is your social life going to pick up or do you, are you more concerned about meeting a potential yeah. partner? <clears throat> yeah, like, yeah, because uh, I guess I, if I haven't been dating, I don't really have many friends. You know, I've been so. Cause, okay, let me do it this way. You love. know, sometimes I'll just go by myself. Yeah. I feel like you are going to be going out and about a little bit more. I don't feel like you're going to make a mad rush to be out and doing things every day and every night. I do feel like there is the potential for you to join a join a something, join a team, or join a join something, a group or a team. Okay. That is not where you're going to meet the person, but that is going to open you up to having better, stronger energy um, and interacting better or not better, but more with people. Um, so I do recommend if you get the opportunity to join a group or a team. And when they say group or team, it can be anything from a pottery team to a dancing group to a uh, bowling team or league to whatever it is, whatever it is for you. Now, if you get that opportunity, do it. I feel like it'll be very beneficial for your body, mind, and spirit. It might even be a team that just goes on walks or, or gentle hikes, okay? The person you are going to meet, is it, are they going to come through that? No, you're not going to meet them through that, but I do feel like you are going to meet somebody. You have the potential. Let me be clear. The potential to meet somebody in September 2024. And I actually am seeing a day on the calendar. Now, I don't like to do this because then people dismiss all the other days and they, they're out on their porch from morning to night doing this little number here. Where are you? Come hither. Um, I do see the 17th of September, which actually I think that's one of my sister's birthdays, but the 17th of September being extremely significant to you in your life in general. So during the month of September, uh, I mean all the months, but in the month of September, you have the potential for somebody to come in that could make a significant change or in some way uh, be a significant person in your life, a, a potential partner. Okay, love? So please um, make sure you're you're go because it gets sometimes i i want to say this to you and everybody listening timelines here are very different than timelines up there 
So even though they can say August or September, something can come up with the other person and then it pushes the timeline sooner or later. We just have to be open and ready for whenever it is and then be moving forward with it. As of right now, I hear September is your strongest time point, but there is something on the 17th. I want you to mark that down, write that down so you remember it. It's something good, not bad, something positive. So just know that I don't know that that's the day you're going to meet the person, but I do see that being a significant day. Okay, love? Oh, thank you. Yeah, that sounds good. Excellent. I can't believe it's like right around the corner. Yeah, and I do want to say again, love, I really want to say again, if you have the opportunity to join a group, a team, whatever it is that you really like to do and you see, sometimes there are things on Meetup that people can do that are... Um, significant and and people can um get out and do meetups together and they're financially they're very affordable sometimes it's at no cost to anyone but if you if you get the opportunity to join a group or do something like that please by all means do it i feel like you will not regret it it will introduce you to some new people doesn't mean you have to be best friends with them does not mean you have to, you know, whatever, talk to them after the fact, but it will get you out and about. And I do feel like it is something that is like outdoors, almost like a walking or a hiking thing. So keep that in mind too, okay, love? I'm going to go to the next, um, the next question on line, um, I think Elizabeth, did you already ask? You skipped me. No. Nope. Yep. I skipped you. Sorry, Melissa. You skipped me. I would like to know if I have completed all my exit points. Thank you. No. No, Melissa. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about, but there's always the final, final exit point. <laughs> um, and if you're talking about what I think you're talking about, I've had three already. But I still have my final, and there could be a fourth exit point that I don't take. So <laughs> if that's what you're talking about, no, you, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, think I know what you're talking about. Um, I do feel like, it's, does she have other than her final exit points? Are there more? Yeah, there's always more. We always have the opportunity um, to have a, an earlier exit point than our final one. So um, because we're not forced to be here, it's a choice. And if we're unhappy and we don't want to be here, they'll create an exit point for us. Or if there's a lesson or we need a reboot, they can create an exit point for us. Um, in any case, in any case, please, uh, please be aware of that. Be okay with it. And um, don't ask for it unless you're really serious. And if that's not what you meant, I'm, I'm so sorry, um, Elizabeth, if I misunderstood your question. Uh, let's see, do I have time? I think I have time for uh, one more. I'm going to go to, uh, did I do 504? 504, did I already ask you, ask, answer your question? No. Oh, good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's weird. You, you said something about iron under a house. Um, and my mom found a chain under my apartment building she lives with me and it was really weird because she thought that somebody put it there with not good intention is and she got rid of one but another one came back and i don't know it was just so weird that you said that i don't you know, wonder mm. if if it is bad energy um it depends on the intention of the person who left it there but let's do this love is that the question you want to ask or do you want to ask something else Oh, um, 
Yeah, the you were doing the the energy release, and I'm just slowly starting to feel better. But that's what I was going to call and ask you: is if this is my energy or somebody else's? Okay, so yeah, you know what? For you and everybody else, I'm just going to do another. I'm going to double down on the clearing. Um, let's clear, pull, release all of this. Clear it all from everybody listening, their homes, everybody in their homes. Let's pull it all. And this will continue to clear throughout the evening. Um, and everybody listening who who is, who's who's had heavy energy or ne felt negative or just something is off, this should be very, very helpful for yeah. you. Uh, you should feel lighter. Your home should feel lighter. In, in many, many cases, the house literally will look lighter so we're going to keep clearing this um wow. and hopefully you know very soon you'll notice something almost like not breaking in the house but a break in the energy the energy breaking up and dispersing we're going to i'm going to ask that this is just the power or the um whatever uh, uh, dissolve it dissolve it just dissolve it and then clear it through oh <sighs> So a lot of you should have just felt I a felt relief. I going down my right leg. Okay, perfect. I felt like a tingle go with my right leg. Love it. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Here we go. So we're going to pull all of it. Um, we're going to make sure it's all being pulled, all going, and just being lifted out. Now I want you to um, just take very deep breaths and push them out. And imagine you see like storm clouds leaving your place and leaving you. And that just kind of, you don't have to do that. It will happen anyway. And one way of saying this is this is just old energy. It could be negativity. It doesn't have to be yours. It could be somebody else's. But we're just going to try to pull all of it for everybody listening and watching. And um, I'm going to say, I hope, I really, really hope this is helpful and it all clears out. I know it does. I, I know for a fact it does. I do this, you know, all day, every day for everyone. Um, I just want to remind as as I'm finishing clearing this out. And uh, I'm going to see if I can do one more question here. Who? Um, I want to remind everybody, um, if you go to my website, you'll see the two programs I'm offering. And then also I'll be back Monday at noon. I'm here every Monday at noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m. You can call in and ask questions, ask on a line. I'm gonna see, Tony, is there any positive things happening in my life that you see? Melissa, yes. Um, let's clear that. Melissa, there's, you know, I know right now it can tend to feel a little bit heavy for people. Get out and do, you, you, I, and I know this sounds so, whatever. first of all, go outside in the grass with bare feet or go to the beach with bare feet. Um, be careful of glass, blah, blah, blah. Um, but get, get in nature. For you, what I'm seeing is get in nature. When you get in nature, it will recalibrate you and it will help you out a great deal. Um, so please know that. Please, please do that and know that. Sal wants to know anything about me taking a beginner's acting class, Sal. 90 um, seconds. Uh, cut off. Oh, no. Um I think you're going to have a ton of fun. Don't take it seriously. Um, do not take it seriously. Have a ton of fun with it. Just enjoy it. I think it's going to be just so much fun for you. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful that uh, we could all be here together. If you're celebrating the 4th, if you're going out and watching fireworks tonight or tomorrow or over the weekend, please have an amazing time and stay safe while you do it. Um, otherwise, hopefully I'll pop up this weekend, but for sure I will see you on Monday. Thank you so much, everybody. Have an amazing rest of the day.